Just three weeks ago, Capture One dropped a new update and released a new feature called Retouch. And nobody is talking about this. What if I told you you can now retouch your image without leaving Capture One? No Photoshop, no plugin, just you, your image, and Capture One. I have been retouching for more than three years now, and I've always had to jump between Capture One and Photoshop. So after doing my color grading, I blast my image instead of Capture One. I have to take the image to Photoshop for skin retouching. But does this new update changes everything? Let's find out. In this video, I want to show you exactly how the new retouch feature works, what it can and cannot do, and whether it's okay to retouch your image directly inside of Capture One, or you still have to go back and forth between Capture One and Photoshop. Let's find out. Once we open our Capture One, and after we imported our image inside of Capture One, we are going to see the retouch right here. And this retouch is only available on the latest version of Capture One. So to get it, you have to update your Capture One to version 16.6. After updating your Capture One, if you can't find the retouch option up here, click on this three dots icon, click on Add Spool tab, and you are going to see it right here. So once you click on it, it's going to open the retouch for you. So this is how the new retouch feature looks like. It will automatically detect the face of the image you want to retouch. And from here, if you want to remove the blemishes from your image, all you have to do is click on these blemishes right here and move it up all the way to 100 or until you see it works for you. But 100 always works for me. And it's just going to remove the blemishes for your image as you can see. See the before and see the after. The blemishes are gone. Not just that, you can also move those dark circles under the eyes. So to do that, just come to your dark circle right here, move it up. I'm just going to brighten those dark circles on the eyes as you can see. Let me just take it back so you can see the before and after. See the before and the after. And this is the best part. You can actually smooth the skin of your image using the jump on and also add texture to your image or make your image look smooth. To do that, all you have to do is come to this even skin tool right here and just take the amount up and just going to make your image look smooth as you can see. Let me take it down so you can see. See the before and the after. Now from here, you can either make your image look smooth by reducing the texture. As you can see, the image is not looking smooth. Or if you want to add texture to your image, you can just move this texture up like so to add texture to your image. And now if you feel maybe the effect is too much, you can just click on this impact right here and just take the impact slider down to reduce the effect of the touch. So this impact right here is like opacity. So you can either take it to 100 or you can reduce the opacity if you feel it's too much. Now let's quickly see the before and after of the retouch we've done so far instead of Capture One. All right, so see the before and the after. The before and the after. So let's try it on this image right here. The same thing, you can remove the blemishes. Also, take the dark circle, even now the skin tone like this, add texture, uh, move texture. And not just that, you can also do your contouring with this retouch right here. So if I want to make the contour of this image more pronounced or more visible, you can just come to this contour and move it all the way up to 100. You can see the contour now, see the before and the after. The before and the after. So you can just play with the slider and see what works for you. So I think about 30 works for me. Now let me just zoom in a little bit so you can see the before and after of this retouch date for this image. All right, so see the before and the after. The before and the after. Now what are the advantage or in what scenario is this feature really useful? For example, if you shoot events or you are an event photographer, instead of spending time retouching 100 pictures, you can just batch process or batch edit the 100 pictures directly inside of Capture One. Let me show you how that works. So for example, let's say I shoot a wedding and I want to edit it or retouch it. All I have to do is click on this retouch right here and just make adjustment on this particular image. So first of all, I'll remove the blemishes. After removing the blemishes, I'm going to come to dark circle and just move it up a little bit. After that, I'm just going to smooth the skin with this even skin right here. I'm going to take the amount all the way up to 100. And from here, I can choose to add texture or remove texture depending on what you want. So let's say I'm going to add a little bit of texture to this image like this and add just a tiny bit of contour like this. So let's see the before and after. This is the before. You can see, and this is the after. So what I can do from here, I can just copy this adjustment. Once I copy it, I'm just going to select similar images. So let's say I select this one, select this one as well. Also select this, maybe select this as well, and just click on apply. 
and it will automatically batch retouch those images selected for you. Check out this one. You can look at the skin. If I come to this impact, reduce the opacity. See the before and the after. And it doesn't matter how many people you have in the image. So let me just come to this cup right here. This one right here. If I zoom in, you can see it still retouch the image for you. And you can see it detects all the faces on the image. Now let me just reduce the impact so you can see the before and after. See the before and the after. Also, you can choose to edit individual face or you can choose to edit them together. To do that, let me just reset this. If I want to retouch only the grooms, I can just click on this groom right here, the face of the groom. So any adjustment I make is going to affect only the groom because the groom is selected. Let me just undo this. Also, if I work on only the bread, any adjustment I make is going to affect only the bread. It's not going to affect the groom, as you can see. See the before and the after. But if you want the effect to affect everybody on image, we can just select all right here and any adjustment you make is going to affect everybody present on the image. This the capture feature is also very useful if you have photographers that don't like doing much editing on your image, you like your image to look as natural as possible, or you have a photographer that has clients that does not like high and spirit touching, this feature works for you because it gives a natural looking result. Just take a look at this image right here. After the retouch, you can see how natural it is and it's still looking very good. So, see the before and the after. We still have the textures and everything is intact. It still looks natural. So, see the before and the after. Now, what are the downside or the disadvantage of this new feature? First of all, this new feature only affects the face. It does not affect any other part of the body. It only affects the face. So, it's something to take note of. So, if you look at this image, you can see the adjustment I'm making does not really affect any other part of the body. It's only affecting the face. So if I just reduce the impact of the opacity rather, you can see the before and the after. It's only affecting the face. But take a look at the body. If I reduce the impact, the before and the after, there is no difference because this feature only affects the face for now. Maybe in the future, Gautra might update it or after the body. But for now, just know that this feature only works with the face. Also, if you still want to do more advanced retouching, you still have to take your image to Photoshop to do that. Because this retouch feature inside of Capcom 1 has limits for now. Like I said earlier, it does not affect the body. So you have to take your image to Photoshop to do the skin retouching for the body part of your image. So for now, who is really going to benefit from this new Capture 1 feature? I'll say event photographers. The reason is, event photographers require minimum edit. Most of them don't even edit their image at all. But with this feature right here, they can actually batch process their image and just give it a bit of reduction. Another set of people that's really going to benefit from this new capture feature are photographers who don't like doing retouching or photographers whose clients don't like high end scale retouching. They are really going to benefit from this because they can just tweak it a little bit and still have a good image and the image is still going to look as natural as possible. But if you're like me, you want to retouch both the skin of your image and the face of your image, you still have to take your image to Photoshop to do that. Or if you want to do high-end skin retouching or advanced skin retouching, you still have to take your image from Capture One to Photoshop to do that. But this could really be a starting point for everyone, especially the blemishes removal option. So you can just remove your blemishes instead of Capture One and just take your image to Photoshop and don't have to worry about removing blemishes instead of Photoshop. We can just move on straight to smoothing the skin with dodge and burn of first impression. Any technique you use. So this can actually save you a lot of time. Also, to get Capture One, I'll believe the link where you can get it in the description below of this video or visit CaptureOne.com. And if you want to learn how to edit your image or process your image from start to finish inside of Capture One, check out this video right here. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay pretty.